This is the first taste of Edmonton since the city began its ban on single use plastics. What does that mean for those of us buying a tasty meal? We banned styrofoam in 2019 uh, for the single bags. You know, that was a pretty easy one to relay to our restaurant partners that no bags are allowed on site. Corn based products like in our cups, as an example, our restaurant partners are absolutely accommodating for all those things. Organizers at Taste of Edmonton made the switch years ago to more compostable products for the festival. It's Taste of Edmonton's third year in Churchill Square in the center of downtown Edmonton. Organizers telling me the festival goes a long way in bringing vibrancy back to downtown. For us, it's really getting everybody back downtown, feeling safe, feeling comfortable, breaking bread with friends and family and enjoying themselves. Thursday night, Premier Danielle Smith and Alberta's newest celebrity, the life-size Donaire costume, available for auction, took a stroll around the festival grounds. Got to escort the Premier around and watch her hug and, and actually uh, be really gentle with the mascot, who was actually one of my employees, so I'm glad that she was so gentle with the mascot. Edmontonians in Churchill Square Friday afternoon were there to eat. Uh, we're doing the Wagyu beef dumplings. We've had uh, some of the tacos and stuff like that kicking around, so it's, it's been good. How much have you had to eat so far? You don't mind me uh, I don't know if I want to disclose that. What's it like being out here in downtown, uh, seeing all these people here in Churchill Square, seeing it a little lively? It's like it used to be, right? That's how I see it. It's a different story over here at K-Days where organizers tell me they're exempt from the city's plastic bylaw due to the event's size. Reporting from Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.